Across Ireland, a street food revolution has taken place. While the hospitality trade faced lockdowns, one area of the industry enjoyed a boom. As the nation turned to a growing band of food trucks. I'm escaping the kitchen to enjoy the freedom of the open road and try amazing street food. That is, without a doubt, the best spice box I've ever had. We're big fans in our house. And how many of these would you think you've made in your life? Hundreds? Oh, oh more than that. Thousands. So, thousands. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfectly cooked. Look at the butter oozing out. And you're double jobbing. You have butter and mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah. It's a belly burger. <laughs> the belly burger. I'll tell you something, you wouldn't be eating this in your first date. <laughs> would you? She'd never come near you again. And like, can you not imagine Tony mm. eating that in front of the TV? Oh my God, of course like I can. All over his undershirt? I can. It's one of the nicest things I've eaten. Thank you. It really is. I think your mother will be proud. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Back in Dungarvan, I'm in my kitchen to prepare my first food truck favourite. We're just going to serve it with some simple rice. That's all it needs. And there you go. My take on a butter chicken curry. Bacon and cabbage is my favourite thing to eat. Do you hear that crunch? You can literally pull it apart. I mean, that lovely crust on there. It's time to get my caravan out on the road to see what people think of my food truck dishes. I'm pitching the caravan close to all the action, just outside the centre. Before I test out my dishes, I'm meeting head falconer James Irons to discover more about the place. It's a species from Africa, south of the Sahara Desert, and then in, into anywhere where there's open savanna and countryside. He's staring at me right then. <laughs> Made a real friend. I have, have I? Yeah. He just knit me on me new news. I'm meeting David Wardell to find out more about this beautiful spot. We have a simulator. You can actually physically ride in a simulator. It's nice racehorse. It's, it's a six furlong swing. And you sit there and ride and see if you've made all those right decisions. It's a great experience. Come on. Oh, I can do it. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. OK, that's enough horsing around. Let's get cooking. In the caravan, the beef empanadas are hitting the fryer and I'm whipping up the Bernays sauce for the short rib rolls. Bring on the diners. Shall I get the Moroccan lapis? And yourself? Can I go for the Asian pork as well? Okay, sure. Well, how are you all getting on? You get out of bed in the middle of the night for that. <laughs> That's fantastic. My first time eating monkfish, actually. I was afraid to eat it before in case it was too fishy, fishy. It was beautiful. <laughs> Get a room I'm really pleased at the way my chicken dishes went down today, and I've had a fantastic time at the Waterford Shore Valley Railway. So now it's on to my next food truck adventure.